Hey guys, welcome to another One Show Review. Today I'm going to be trying something new at Arby's. I'm excited about these two new items. Um, so I'm going to be trying them out. I'm going to take you through drive through with me and I'll be back there. Welcome to Arby's order when you're ready. Um, yeah, I want one of your new um, spicy euros. Just the same way, do you want a meal? Um, a meal. Small, medium, or large? Um, medium is fine. Curly fries? Cur no, I want the crinkle fries and just the Diet Coke. Okay. That's it. It's going to bring your total to 805. Thank you. 805. You have the spicy euro, right? Does that, okay. Any sauces? No, just whatever comes with it. Okay. Is it right? A little bit. Sprinkling. Thank you. There you go, thank you. Thank you. That was pretty quick. They um, sometimes they're very, very slow in here. <laughs> just to tell you the truth of the matter. I'm just gonna pull right over here. All right, so let me uh, get this turned around, get the food out, and uh, I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, so here is the meal. Um, of course, I got a drink, but here's the gyro. It's gyro. Um, anyway, there it is. It, it smells really good. And then there's the crinkle cut fries. And I'm excited about, I'm almost more excited about the fries than I am the sandwich because um, they got rid of like regular fries years and years and years ago. I mean, because um, I really like their fries. They got rid of the fries and, and just had curly fries forever. And it's like, why in the world would you do that? So I'm glad, I never liked curly fries or didn't, don't love them. Um, I re, but I love just regular fries. So I'm glad to see those are, are back. So I hope they hang around. So anyway, I'm gonna get the camera turned around let you know how much everything costs. Put my old man glasses on. Um, it was $7.59 for the meal and I did get a medium meal. It's one um, spicy Greek um, Euro, um, medium crinkle fry and a medium drink, which is huge by the way, that's a medium drink. Um, uh, um, yeah, seven fifty nine, forty six cents of tax in Kentucky, and so my total is eight oh five, which I don't think is too bad. I mean, it's a good size sandwich, honestly, um, to, to try out. So I'm gonna try the the fries first, because like I said, I'm excited to see a, a regular fry here again. I'm gonna turn my car off just in case I was making noise. Mm, they're good and fresh. really good level of salt um, they got a crispy outside they're very good and tender on the inside they're big enough to where you actually get potato on the inside sometimes they're um, they're so tiny you, you just get all outside and no inside these are good they're big without being too big if that makes sense hmm. excellent job on the fries they, they did a good job of picking those if you've ever had Culver's Crisp, uh, crinkle fries they're very similar to that so I'm gonna pull my sleeves up so I don't get dirty now let's try the sandwich out so it is absolutely packed with stuff I mean that's a heck of a sandwich I'm gonna try a piece of this meat just by one piece fell out I'm just gonna try by itself hmm. that's a good flavor it's um it's got a little spice to it. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this onion off. Not a lot, but just a little. It's purple onion, and sometimes purple onion gets really, really strong. Yeah. So there's plenty of this, like a red sauce on here, and there's also like a like a white sauce. I think the white sauce is a. Uh, it's almost like a yogurt sauce. It's a tzatziki sauce, I think. I don't know. I don't eat euros all the time. But then there's also a red chili sauce, which I'm sure is the red sauce. Um, it has tomatoes, lettuce, um, like I said, tons of sauce, some onions, and uh, quite a bit of meat actually. So, and then you got this um, like uh, flour pita bread almost. All right, here we go. I'm going in.
I can see where the spiciness comes through. The bread is, has a little toughness to it, like a, um, almost like a pretzel. It's, it's kind of doughy and, I mean, not doughy, but um, chewy, like tough and chewy. Definitely has some spice. So if you don't like spicy food, don't get this one. You won't like it at all. Um, it's got some, like a pepper burn is what I would think. It's just like a, um, like hot chili peppers. I really like the combination of the meat and the sauce itself. The traditional gyro, which is, is not the spicy version, I'm assuming they just leave out that spicy sauce because the, the meat itself is not um, spicy, spicy, like hot spicy. It has seasonings, but it's not. it's got a good flavor to it. It's just not spicy, like hot. But when you mix the uh, the gyro meat and the, um, the white sauce and then the red sauce, it's got a really good combination. And the, the white, like almost yogurty like sauce really um, helps uh, balance out the, the spice. So it's really nice. I like that quite a bit. I don't like really hot, like spicy food just to be spicy. This is not like that. This has a lot of uh, tons and tons and tons of flavor. It is spicy, so if you don't like spicy, like I said, don't get it. However, if you do like a spicier food, and uh, but you like it to be like a flavorful spice, then I would recommend you try this out because I think you'll like it. Now, the meat is a little different than what a traditional, like a roast beef or something like that. It's a little different flavor, so um, you may not like the spices. I don't know. I like them, but if if, um, if you try it out, just know that you may not like the spices in the meat. Uh, maybe too much for you. Like I said, I like it. Um, so I'm going to give the sandwich a five out of five. I really do think you should try it out if you, especially if you don't like spicy, if you don't like spicy, just get the traditional Euro if you want to try that out. Cause they, they have, uh, um, the sort of traditional Euro sandwich. Um, the fries, I'm also going to give those a five out of five. I do think they did a really good job on their fries. I'm glad they're back. Um, that way I don't have to order curly fries anytime I come to Arby's. So yeah, overall five out of five meal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.